Now let's take a closer look at the political response to the siege in Sydney. We're taking you now to Martin Place there where the ocean of floral tributes has grown even bigger. Rachel Papazzoni is in place. Rachel, good morning. There was a, a really lovely and very moving memorial service last night. That's right, Virginia. It was at the uh, Anglican Cathedral in Sydney, St Andrews, and was attended by a number of dignitaries and, and members of the general public and those more closely linked with the 17 people who were held hostage for so long at the Lint Cafe. It's provided an opportunity for people to pay their respects and, and honour the people who were, were, went through that trauma that we're learning uh, so much about uh, bit by bit. Uh, a number of people spoke at the service last night. Let's listen to some of what they said. We thank you for his unfailing generosity and kindness to we who work for him. We especially thank you for his courage and commitment to the staff and customers in this tragic time of siege. We pray also for his staff my colleagues, who were caught in the crossfire and experienced the trauma of the siege. May you comfort them with your healing hand. We come before you with hearts heavy with sorrow for the attacks upon innocent citizens in our city earlier this week. We grieve with those whose families and friends are directly affected. In particular, we grieve for the loss of Katrina Dawson, wife and mother of three young children. We pray for her husband Paul, their children and her whole family. We pray that in this Christmas season that they might rest upon your unchanging promises despite the difficult changes and chances of this fleeting world. Now, it was, a, as I say, an incredibly moving service. Those, those flowers just continue to, to build up behind you. So what's going to be the, um, the response of the city to this growing memorial? Will they leave the flowers in place? The Premier, Mike Baird, was just here a moment ago, Virginia, and mentioned that uh, his plan is to leave these flowers here. Uh, and then uh, there's talk about a more permanent memorial. He wants uh, the feeling and, and compassion that's been uh, brought about these flowers that are here uh, to stay and to encourage more people, more Sydney siders, people from outside of Sydney to come here and lay flowers uh, at this uh, makeshift shrine that, that sprung up just a few days ago immediately after uh, this siege ended on Tuesday. Uh, a number of flowers here, it's hard to, to put a number on them. Teddies are here. Uh, notes of condolences. One woman a moment ago, in fact the, the woman that the Premier embraced, uh, left some lint chocolates here. So the, sta the plan is at this stage is to leave these flowers and allow people to continue to come here to pay their respects while discussions take place about a more permanent memorial. Alright, thanks so much for that Rachel. And uh, with more now on the Prime Minister's decision to launch the